Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you're all doing okay. So we are back in our realistic hospital here guys and as you can see there's been a few changes. There's been a few changes. So I've basically worked on this radiology department down here. So I mean, I know a few people wanted me to do it in an episode, but I spent so long like just erasing what I'd done and changing it again that it would have been a very, well, in my view, a boring episode. But I'll take you through what I have done. So let's find radiology. So we basically have two of every room down here now, which I hope will really improve patient turnover through this department. So we've gone for two x-ray rooms, two angiography rooms, two CT rooms, two MRI rooms, two cardiology, two sonography, and then we've got a cleaning closet, a common room, there's a little corridor here, and a little restroom here in the middle. So basically what I've done is someone, I'm sorry, I can't remember who commented, but thank you for the comment. Someone commented saying about how it could be quite cool to, oh, my camera keeps going weird, to have um, like one office and then you have the actual x-ray room or whatever the radiology type is around it. So that's quite hard to explain. So basically before we had these little offices where the radiologists sit and they you know, have their computer in there, they have their x-ray viewer, they have the x-ray button and everything. So what I've done for every room is I've popped in this room, but this is not divided down the middle. So both x-ray rooms will have both of their radiologists in this one office here in the middle. And then that has this restricted area door and then there's a few objects and stuff inside just to make it look a little bit better. And then here we have an x-ray machine in each room which is obviously needed. And then you have like this little corner where someone could change or you know pop on their gown or something if they need to. And then we've got key machines and everything. So that was kind of the idea. Now this here is a shared, oh come on ambulance, you're ruining my spiel, come on. We have this little waiting room here in the middle, so this is shared between x-ray and CAG. And again we have a shared little office here, and I'll just show you, excuse the walls that haven't been painted all the way around. But in the, oh I haven't put any computers in there. I always manage to balls something up, how can that work without a computer? Are there computers in there but it's just doing that weird camera bugging thing? Yeah, look, there are laptops but it's doing a weird camera buggy thing. Well, don't do the weird camera buggy thing because that's not very nice, is it? So can I... Wait, what? How is that going over there? If I move this desk... I can't move the desk. Okay, well, I think these rooms are functional because they're blue, they're not greyed out. But at the moment I have this weird bug where sometimes laptops don't show up. Not sure why that happens. But again, in these rooms we have, what is this called? The angiography button or something? Angiography control panel. So we have that there with also the OP digital imaging. So I imagine what they do is they control this machine and obviously then they can see where they are in the um, vessels within the body via this screen. So I thought that was quite cool. And again, every room has appropriate posters. So in here we've gone through the arteries, veins, in the x-ray we went for and like tennis elbow posters and skull posters. So over here we move over to CT. So again we have this little workstation here in the middle. I won't dwell too much on these things. Then we've got a cleaning closet and a common room up here. Nice little waiting room corridor area. And we go down to MRI. And then down the bottom here we have cardiography and sonography. And then so we actually have three of these rooms now I believe. Yeah because we've also got a room of cardiography and one of sonography up here which is kind of used for our intensive care patients so that's it and then we've gone for this kind of like staff only corridor here it's like it's like a little back entrance really just so if you're in the emergency unit you know if you've got someone really kind of quite unstable on a code blue and you need them to transfer over to radiology you know for a quick mri or something you can just come out of here and whiz through that door you haven't got to worry about going around so I thought that all made sense and I was quite happy with how that turned out in the end. Now, what else have I done? I've just done a little bit of work on the nurses station here in the observation unit. Pop some more nurses in. What else did I do? I changed all the nurses in the trauma center to be trauma nurses. Just a few little bits like that. But I really hope you enjoy 
um, having a look at the new radiology department. So the vent, the vent, I mean the event. So I bloody, I failed the event, right? And I'm angry guys, okay? You can probably tell I'm angry. I failed the event because some bloody woman had neuroplexy, so I hospitalised her in the neurology department, and then because her treatment of, I think it was like diuretics or something, because that took about four years to give her, I failed the bloody event. I'm fuming. I'm absolutely livid. I was so angry. I was like, well, how, how's that my fault? You've brought in a patient. I've diagnosed that patient. I've given that patient the treatment. She's just having the treatment. She just hasn't been discharged yet. And then I bloody failed the event. I was, oh, I was livid. I was livid, guys. Anyway, so we're having a few hospital issues, like a few people aren't very happy with how long it takes to get some lab tests and stuff. So what I thought we could do in this episode is just treat a few patients, have a bit of a wander around, um, just make sure the departments are basically functioning as they should, if that makes sense, and then fixing up any issues as we go. So what I thought a good place to start would be to have a look at our prestige, which is actually fantastic here. So because I failed that stupid event, I lost like $5,000 and my prestige was just going to be reduced for the next day, I think. Yeah, so bonus from events there, you can see down the bottom, bonus from events minus 10%. Oh, fuming, absolutely fuming. But the actual departments overall look pretty good, like all five stars other than emergency. So it might be good for us to go and have a look at emergency maybe, and you know, we might treat some patients as we go. So let's have a bit of a look here. So we've got eight doctor's offices over here in emergency with, so I think that's two people waiting to be seen, I think. And then we've got all of them staffed up day and night, except from these two, which are only staffed in the day. Okay, that, that, that's fine. Um, we've got a common room, cleaning closet close by, so doctors haven't got to walk too far for a common room. That's great. Okay. Right, so let's go into emergency. And I always manage to forget how to do this. How do I get up the prestige of the department? I forget every time. I always forget what icon it is. Um, uniform, staff, patients. Oh, I think it's here. Is it here? I think, yeah, I think so. Right, let's look at staff first then. Is this all of the staff? No. So let's have a look at doctors. And is this all of them? No. Can I make this bigger? No, I can't. Okay, great. So let's have a look at any staff which kind of are not having a very good time. So they're all okay, like there are a few which aren't five stars, but there are no, oh, actually you're quite low, you guys here, look. So we've got Rachel Adams, yep, those lines are messing with my eyes, and Harris Fraser, no, other way around, Fraser Harris, House of Fraser, oh. So these guys, they're okay, but they're not great. So... Fraser here is complaining that his bladder's quite full, he looks like he's quite hungry, um, rest is okay but not great, and satisfaction is okay, not great. Is his needs are critical, and I imagine that's because you know he's hungry and he needs a wee or a poo-poo. So what we're gonna do is let's go and have I don't know, I can't be I just said poo-poo. So let's go and have a look at Fraser. Right, so he's in here chilling out. Now the rest room is over here. So is he moaning that he can't go and use that restroom because either it's full or has he just not got enough time to go and use it? Now, does that mean that we should get like a staff restroom in here? I think I might do that. So let's do that. So that's what this episode is going to be. It might not be the most exhilarating episode in the world, but I kind of just want to, you know, do a few bits here and there, make sure that the hospital is running smoothly. So is this stretcher... Or someone's coming to get it. Or can, can someone come and get the stretcher so I can um, build a restroom? Thank you very much. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to build a little restroom here. So we'll get our pink corridor. And we're going to go up by three. And then we'll get in some white tiles in here. Actually, we'll go up one more. Can I go up one more to there? And then we're going to go for some white tiles. And you'll see the method in my madness, surely. So let's get that flooring, let's go around town, and then we'll get some tiles in there. And then we'll just make sure that, that wall there is also all lovely jubbly. Right, so what is that? 
I don't know what that is, but I'm going to move that. I'm going to move the plant. And then what we can actually do is get a door there. So the door there and there. So there's two doors to this. There's no windows, which is good. Because we don't want anyone singing in here, do we? So this is going to be a restroom for staff only. There we go. Staff only. Right. So we're going to get in. We're getting one loo. We're going to get in one sink with a mirror. And then we'll have a little plastic hamper. Can I get a bin in here as well? Can I get a bin there? I don't know if that bugs out this plastic hamper or not. And then maybe we'll get in a clock just so, you know, if you're, if you're on the toilet going for a number two, you know what I mean. You know, and you late for your sh Anyway, I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to get in the clock. Right, and then let's get in a little restroom sign. And we're going for red signs. So let's get the red sign. I'm going to go on that wall there. Right. So that's going to be a cheeky little staff restroom that people can use. You know, this one's filled up with patients or something, or this one's closer, which it probably is for these doctors. They can just whiz into here and use the loo. Right, so I think what I also need to do is actually expand how many doctors we can have a minute. I'd also like to expand the nurses, even though the nurses have this little station over here. So is anyone in this bed? No. We have quite a few. Oh, I did try it. I did try the little biohazard area over here. So I might I might forget to look at that, guys, okay? But if you see any patients going into this area and the doctor and nurses mask up, let me know. I might miss it. It's strange what you can actually miss when you're filming. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this bay. So I'm going to delete that bay. And now I'm just wondering if I want to have this as a continuation of the room. Or do I want this to be like a separate area with open desks, which isn't closed? Do you know, I think I want this to be a bit different and be open. So I'm going to delete that window. I'm going to get in a glass door. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these little workstations because I actually really like how these turn out. And I'm going to pop them in there. Beautiful. Let's delete that wall. Now, have I got any stretchers? Let's move that stretcher to there. Because then we're actually going to pop in another double door there. So that's like, you know, like a, like a, a quick corridor if they need it. Oh my god, my camera. I know Blala said that her camera is bugging out. So I'm glad it's not just me. And then let's just get... I mean, I like the chart board. Even, I know we have the whiteboard there as well. But let's get the chart board and maybe the tool equipment cabinet just to fill out the area and then our tiles are a little bit different here so those need to be those tiles there and then it's a bit bare here so maybe we can get in a couple of oxygen tanks or at least you know yeah one or two i like that right now so let's get some more doctors in oh this needs to be an extension of the on core room we can actually go across this whole bit bit like that it's gonna be a bit of an odd shape obviously but that's good right so we're gonna need some good trauma doctors in here now I am actually gonna go for some doctors with advanced diagnosis I just feel like it'd be good to have some doctors in here which have that skill as well so I mean they're all crap who have we got here or well, you're pretty good and oh there's some interesting names we've got Bethany Briggs and we've got Mari Gale so you're both really good actually so I'm definitely going to be getting you into our hospital here. And where has Murray gone? There you are. And you're both going to be doing trauma only. Now I hope that this will free up our other doctors to go for a wee. That's what I'm hoping. So let's also get in. Let's have a look here. James isn't too bad and Christine isn't too bad. Although I'd like to not get loads of doctors with a long commute because it's quite annoying. So let's go for... James and we will also get in um, Christine was it Christine yeah I think it was so let's do that and then you're gonna be doing trauma only now let's get in we'll leave the other desk free now I hope that helps let's go full time now I hope that meant that these doctors were gonna go and fulfill their needs so let's just fast forward time a little bit and just hope that that does work out and i hope it does we've we got any masks no one's over here yeah okay patient is collapsing right let's sort them out yes ambulance come on 
So this, this is what this is what annoys me, guys. I'm, I'm gonna have a bit of a vent here. It's a, a small vent, I promise, a short one. Is that Miles has come in? Look, he's either got. Now I know that we've done some tests to see this, but he's either got Ebola or Marburg. Like just. Just transfer him to infectious diseases. I don't know why I have to tell you that. I, I just find it so... And I can't select the bloody department because I don't... I think you can only change department now when you have a final diagnosis. But it could have bloody Ebola. You know? I find it annoying. Now what I'm going to do is let's have a bit of a test here. A bit of an experiment. I'm going to say that that there, look, is a biohazard area now. Now, is this doctor here? Whoever you are. Are you gonna oh the lights in the way but are you gonna gown up are you gonna like get a mask on or have i just broke this guy's ward mm, i might broke it i might broke it i might broke it yeah um oh he's now so that now works right so where are you taking this chap then so that does work so we could just have, look, it looks like, it looks like at the moment, we could just have the ward and trauma centre and all of that jazz. We could just have all of them as biohazard areas. So they're always masked up. So there's, I don't know if there's no risk, but at least then there's going to be a reduced risk of them contracting these highly contagious diseases like Ebola. So where are you taking Miles? I hope he's going just to a diagnostic room or something and they're not taking him some of that he doesn't need to go but they're taking him there just because of the oh he's actually going to TC okay that's fine that's fine right so what we're going to do look is I'm just going to go absolutely mental here and can we just say all of that is biohazard air, um, only if I can get my words out same as that same as that and let's see if this works because if it does, then it'll just be amazing. And then let's go upstairs and say that this ward is also just biohazard only. You always have to wear a mask here. And in there. Okay, great. And then hopefully it doesn't just break the whole hospital. Yeah, so they're all now masked up, which is absolutely fantastic. It looks like everything can still work, which is absolutely fantastic. I know they released a patch, but I know like Blala was saying that she still couldn't get it to work, I don't think. So that's great though, so hopefully this will reduce the amount of infections. And it looks like the extra, let's go back to my normal, yeah, that view. It looks like these doctors are also being used, which is absolutely fantastic. So what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll have a look at the prestige of those doctors again. But I just want to focus on Miles. Where did he go? He's over here. Right, so let's do, so there's only a few things which it now might be. So are we doing an ELISA? Let's at least schedule the ELISA to be done. Where are you, Eliza? Where are you? You must be here somewhere. There you go, Eliza. Um, abdominal palpitations we've done. That didn't yield anything. And let's also do CBC. CBC sampling. And then what are these? Blood test, RT-PCR. I mean, if we're going up to the lab, we might as well just do that, I think. Let's do blood draw. Where's RT-PCR? RT-PCR, there we go. So that should be miles all sorted. So let's put, we're not going to put him on a coat. Oh, he's collapsing and he is a critical state. So we've got some hidden symptoms. Orifice bleeding. That does not sound good. So let's get him on some treatments. Oh no, I've just taken it all off. What an idiot. So let's give him, oh my God, that's a lot of treatments. But let's start those just so we can, you know, make sure that we reduce those really severe symptoms from coming back right now I'd like to have a look at my staff table for doctors GCK speedy you're not having a good time man wow yeah so here we have still got some reduced wait where are you you are in the trauma center aren't you, you haven't gone upstairs no okay the floor's different now. I don't know why the floor's different let's just pop that back in there we go. So your feeling needs you a bit better now. Right, so that should get better. That should get better. Right, so everyone's gowning up here, which is absolutely fantastic. I might also have the biohazard areas in the corridors everywhere, just to really try and limit, um, you know, that exposure to these highly contagious diseases. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Right, so what else was I doing? So I was having a look there, wasn't I? Now, now that's patience. 
so I think everything else is kind of just making sure that toilets in there now have we got vending machines everywhere down here no we haven't actually so let's just get a couple of vending machines and stuff in the corridor here just so staff can quickly pop out and get a snack or something let's oh we've got them there actually but let's get that we'll get a water dispenser just so they can really quickly go and get a snack or something and that should also help with those needs and stuff right so that was the doctors that we were looking at but i don't think there are any other glaringly bad things wrong here look at the amount of patience you have oh my lord so we did just need more doctors didn't we right let's get some more we've got two more spots here so let's just fill them in i think so let's go for i mean patrick's great let's get, definitely get in patrick he's also a good boss you do not do diagnostics though and then let's also go for hmm i mean david's okay but he's late to work which i, I do find quite annoying so let's go for hmm, no you're all quite annoying Hugh's pretty good let's get in Hugh so we're going for the best talent in the land which is great so let's get in Hugh right okay so that should really help and then um, let's also have a look at so nurses how are the nurses doing yes yeah, so some of them are not very good are they so what's wrong with you you still need a restroom hungry yeah so you're ugly you actually also have an ugly environment so where are you jennifer so you're based in this nurse station so this is an ugly nurse station apparently so what i was thinking is i don't know why i didn't do this so what is the wall the wall top is that right hear me out guys hear me out so i've got no idea oh i can't find the bloody wall type now why i didn't just do this and just have that like across no idea why i didn't do that really and just have that as a, some massive nurses station um no that needs to actually be that wall yeah yeah right and now i want doors like i mean wherever really so let's have a look here so this is now just going to be a massive nurses station no no don't do that thank you right you go across there you go down there Ah, an for patients, yes. So I want there to be a corridor like that. That's going to be the same corridor, but it's going to be a biohazard only. Are you going to do, are you going to be a knobhead and are you going to say that you're not accessible for patients? No, perfect. Yes, game. Yes. Right, I like this. I like where this is going. I've lost the wall again. This one, orange, across there back there we're gonna move that wet floor sign we're gonna get this all floored with that lovely i love it i love it right now what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna just rejig this so the equipment cabinet can now go in there we're actually gonna get i don't think we need more nurses i think we just need to make it look a little bit nicer so let's get out a wall and we're going to go for that wall again in there and we're going to go for a couple of these full windows because i like them they look cool and they're just going to decorate this out a bit so the meal tray is chilling out down there right so let's get in some we're getting some scrubs we'll go for some scrubs maybe on that wall actually no let's get some there and we'll go for a little shelf then we'll get some folders out and then in the corner maybe a card file no nope, not in front of the door that would be a very awkward place can i get some dock stuff on there and i'll go for some maybe some disinfectant tools now let's get out some let's get out a cactus then i can't need to like poster it up a bit let's poster it up so let's get a notice board i don't know if it needs to work to be like decorative if that makes sense like i don't know if it needs to work for it to be classed as not an ugly environment but let's do that then we're going to go for a potted plant there right so let's just all check that that all works lovely jubbly let's just move that stretcher into the corner right you'll collapse him again miles so what can we do oh yeah he needs to go on a defloration like asap so he's still got some symptoms so he I mean, we are looking at them to be honest so hopefully he gets better soon he's on code blue so he should be 
being looked after really closely. So right, so I think this is going well. I like that. Now do you now have like a nice environment? So it's still an ugly environment apparently. Hmm. Well that should maybe that gets better over time. Maybe we just need to give that a little bit of time. But it looks like these nurses are all doing great. We have plenty of transport, plenty of patient care. This is a really full ward actually. Like we've got lots of patients in here, which is great to see. So that should get better now. So that should get a bit better. What about our technicians? We haven't got any janitors. Now they're all pretty good. Um, you're all pretty happy actually, so that's great. So I think overall our, our staff's actually pretty good. So what about our patients? What about our patients here in emergency? So they're all okay. Let's have a look at a few of these which you know aren't quite as good. So you're actually not very happy that you've actually got a full bladder. So Fred, where where art thou? So you're up here. Wait, what? Where's Fred? You're going to your bed, which is... Where is your bed? Where the bloody hell are you going? Ah! So, wait. I'm so... Con wait, what? So instead of going to this room up here, this restroom, you thought you'd go over there. I mean, it's not a very big restroom. I will, I, I will admit that. So I think we need a restroom here, don't we? But it'd be kind of good to get a door here, which we can maybe get when this guy is um, discharged. So why don't we do this? Let's go for, we're going to get a wall in there, going all the way down, and all the way down there. That car is just going to have to chill out there for a moment. And let's get in our restroom sign, which is there in red. And that's just going to pop in there. Lovely. Then we're going to get a massive bank of restrooms, basically. Like all of this wall is just going to be restrooms. Like that. A massive, massive restroom. Which might start actually something like there. And then we'll have a little area here. These windows all need to go because you're not going to want to have a look in here. You, you're just not going to want to do that, guys. And then we are going to get in a window. Uh, actually, no, maybe not. Uh, maybe I'll get this one. Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe I will. Let's get in that. Um, and then we're actually going to want some doors. Let's go WC door. I really like this colour. If you watch, you know, if you watch my videos for a while now, you know that WCs, my WCs are always this colour, guys. I'm not going to change. Um, and then this is going to be a restroom for everyone, so not just staff. All we can actually do is that could be a staff restroom, which could really help. And then this is just a um, a general restroom. So that's going to be a corridor. I don't think that really I need to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then just get loads of WCs in here. A nice big restroom with lots of sinks. So you're... Hmm. I, mean, I can't see much from where I am. We can't use that sink there, apparently. I don't know why, because there's nothing else there. So let's maybe skip that one. There's not a window or anything, is there? No, okay, I don't know why that can't work, but I'm sure one of you lovely people will let me know if I've done something stupid. I'm just going to get a bank of sinks. That one can't work. Let's get a few more down here. Let's get a couple. Then we'll get some mirrors in so people can gussy up. Gussy up. You can tell I've been playing The Sims, can't you? And then we'll get a plastic camper down there. It's like decorative. And we'll get a bin there. And maybe a plant. We'll go for this plant maybe in there. Right, awesome. So that's a nice... I'm going to get a, like a wet floor sign. So that's a nice restroom now. That's all done, isn't it? Yeah, right, so let's just see if people are going to... Yeah, look, people are instantly just coming to use this now. That's fantastic. Oh, look at this. This is a dream look. So this should mean that patients can just really quickly get down here and get into this restaurant. Can I move that car? Thanks. Um, so that's great. So that should really help with patients in this ward. And then as soon as this guy is out, I and mean, we don't know what he's suffering with yet, let's give him some water. 
But once he is out, it means that we can hopefully then just delete this bay and we'll get a door in there. So people have like really easy access into this restaurant. Right, so probably the last thing of the day, let's go and check on Mr. Bolter. So Chris, where are you, mate? Oh, you're just across the way here, okay. So you're even suffering from a gallstones or portal vein thrombosis. Okay, so let's pause. So you're suffering from septic shock, fever, indigestion. Well, let's give you all of those bits. All right, so tests. Let's do an abdominal palpitation, which we've done. Physical exam we've done. Interview we've done. Physical exam we've done. Physical exam we've done. Done. USG. We've got the fast, but let's also do the USG. Let's get that done. That's that one. USG. Done. We haven't done a blood test. Where is blood test? Blood. Don't know why I'm doing a vampire, but there you go. Let's do a blood draw. Dumb, dumb. Oh, angiography and fast. Okay, great. So let's go down to radiology, which are all down the bottom here. And let's schedule angiography. So we'll do all of the tests just to make sure that we have some kind of indication soon of what's wrong with Chris. I'm going to put him on code blue because he's collapsing. He's got septic shock. You know, that could be quite fatal. Um, I think, you know, yeah, yeah, it's a high risk um, symptom. So let's make sure that we get Christopher on the priority list ASAP. Right, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this episode. It's quite a different one. You know, kind of just go around fixing a few bits here and there. Um, let me know if I've missed anything out or if you want to see anything in more detail. Um, like I said, I'm sorry I didn't do the full episode on radiology, but honestly, guys, it really would have been boring because I spent a lot of time planning and stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know down below of anything I've missed or if you want to provide any feedback, comments, suggestions, all that kind of jazz. Please take care of yourselves. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in our next video. See you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day. See you later.